know that business in the front and party in the back makes a killer hairstyle, but does it make a great setup for a bike? I've always wondered what it would be like to ride a mullet setup, and I bet a few of you have been mullet curious too. So I noticed over the last couple of years, more and more World Cup downhill racers have been mulleting their bikes to give them the rollover of a 29er in the front with the snappiness in the corners of a 27.5 in the rear. And being a shorter rider myself, that was pretty intriguing. Most people take a 27.5 bike and they add a 29 front wheel to it. And that doesn't typically cause too many problems. So that's not what I wanna do. I wanna take my 29er Ritmo and add a smaller wheel to the back. But to do this, we've got to overcome some major problems. The first one being that we're lowering the bottom bracket by a lot, which means a ton of pedal strikes. We're also slackening out the seat tube angle and the head tube angle, which would be a lot slacker than I would be comfortable with. But we've got a couple tricks up our sleeve, so let's get building. Okay, so we're basing this build off my Ibis Ritmo V2 in a size small with 160 millimeters in the front and 147 millimeters of travel in the back. Before starting the build, I wanted to keep everything fresh. So we put on a Phoenix protection kit from Bike Shield Protection. Now it's time to ruffle some feathers with one of the most important changes we're gonna make to this bike. We're installing a single offset bushing in the front shock mount in the reversed position. This isn't recommended by, well, anyone, including the bushing manufacturer, but installing this one millimeter offset bushing should help raise the bottom bracket height close to where it would be in stock form without causing much of an issue with how the suspension linkage operates. It essentially makes the shock's total length slightly longer, which pushes the entire rear triangle back and down. The question is, will the bushing spin itself around under hard riding? We'll have to see. Next thing we're doing to help keep the geometry close to stock is installing a 27.5 by 2.6 in the rear with a 29 by 2.4 in the front. This should also help lift the back end up just a bit while still keeping the rear wheel size much smaller than the front. I've chosen to go with the Wild Enduro front tires for both ends for maximum grip and weight savings. We also made for more ground clearance with 165 millimeter cranks. Here it is, my Ibis Ritmo V2 mullet build. With the modifications and part choices we made, we're able to keep the geometry very close to stock, with the bike only getting slacker by half a degree. And that's with sticking to stock suspension travel as well. This bike is a mixed bag between parts we bought, parts that were sent to us to try, like the TRP drivetrain and brakes, and the fast flex bars, which I'm very curious to see if they help with my messed up wrist on rougher trails. And of course, parts provided by our awesome sponsors like the dropper and seat and grips from SDG, the suspension and chain guide from MRP, wheels from Zip Speed Weaponry, and of course the frame from Ibis. Will everything play nicely together? Let's find out. The first test of this build and the weird things we did to it was the climb up the mountain. I was specifically aiming for larger roots and rocks so I could get a feel for the pedal clearance. I was pleasantly surprised when I didn't have any pedal strikes on the way up. Being early season, we had a grand total of two trails to choose from, with one being steep, loose, and littered with drops. Perfect for butt clearance testing. The other trail was fast, rough, and flowy all at once. Okay. So, right off the get-go. Woo, a little wet in there. I feel great. 
feel like I'm constantly going way too fast. But I've just been doing winter riding. Like, I just want to rip. But I can't handle it. <laughs> Not only was this my first ride on a completely different build than I have ever ridden before, but it was also my first ride on dirt in more than five months. So let's just ride this thing, and I'll share my thoughts of how it all went at the end. I'm like, the biggest problem I'm having is this track is so fast and I, the bike just wants to go. Yeah. And I don't feel ready for it. <laughs> the riding we've been doing. I also feel like I have so much more control over this bike. Yeah. Like I just feel like in the corner, like I just like put it where right into the corner and it just feels so much better. Nice. There's no other way to stop here. <laughs> so, how was it? What'd you think? Honestly, it was really great. <laughs> like, it honestly was, though? Honestly, okay. it was so good. It, it was just like, it was so fast. I was just, felt like I was just snapping around the corners with like that 27.5 feel where you're just like, everything just feels super quick in the corners. Mm -hmm but then it was also just rolling through everything nice. really fast. It was- Like a 29. It was a little scary at times. Got like, away on you? Yeah, it would get away on me and then I would just go to like lightly tap my TRPs and then it would just be like, huh, because yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to this kind of braking power. So yeah. it was pretty crazy, but yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a little wild ride, but it was great. You just got to like, catch up to the speed of the bike now. <laughs> I'll try my best. That's how I feel about mine too. Any cons to the build? Or oh, did you get any pedal strikes actually? I That's had zero one. pedal strikes the whole day. Uh, none. And That's, really? yeah, the only con of today was that you made me climb up that gravel road and it was so <laughs> steep at times that my front end was lifting. But that yeah. never happened on the climb trail or any other trail. Just but the road the was faster. Steepest road <laughs> in the world. It was Oops. not worth it. And then like C2 Bangle, that was fine. It seems like great. we seems like we got it pretty close to stock. Yeah. By, by using the offset bushing and the bigger tire. Yeah. It I don't know, it felt really comfortable. Sweet. Yeah. Job done. Mission accomplished. I don't know, you tell me. Yes. yes. <laughs> Go try stuff with your bike. Sometimes it works. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you subscribe and tune in to the next video where we're gonna reveal what's behind that blurry dot. Cheers. <laughs>